Right, hello, grade eights, and welcome to lesson 9.10, Order of Operations, and we're found on page 324. Difference with order of operations today and what you're used to seeing is we're going to be working with fractions. So you've seen order of operations before. However, today, the goal is to understand the rules for order of operations and apply them to fraction calculations. Okay, now we're going to run through one example. It's a long one, so take it down and we will take we will go through it again in class and give some other examples now this is directly from the textbook so we have our equation here okay we have some brackets with exponents all fractions now what are we going to do to uh, what are we going to do to calculate this how are we going to solve this we're going to use bed mass we've done this before you know how to use this so brackets exponents division and multiplication in the order that they appear from left to right. So whichever one comes first, left to right, we do. In addition and subtraction, from left to right, whichever one we see first, okay? So, first thing we have here, we got brackets, we got exponents, okay? That's the B and the E. All right, so how are we gonna figure this out? So if we have a fraction in brackets with, uh, with an exponent of two, all this is saying is two thirds times two thirds. So two thirds times two thirds is very simple. It works out to, okay, so two times two is four. Three times three is nine. And then we just carry everything over. So five sixths times one half plus three quarters divided by one third okay so next step um, next step we have a subtraction here we have multiplication and we have division so what we're going to do first we're going to do five six times one half and we could actually do three quarters divided by one third we'll do that in one step just to save me some space here okay so four ninth stays and we carry that over minus five six times one half so five times one just multiply across no common denominator yet is five six times two is twelve okay plus now three quarters turns into three quarters divided by one third remember we're multiplying the reciprocal when we're dividing fractions so three quarters times three over one and just so I don't mix it up we're gonna say that's going to be times three over one now okay and again we'll go through this okay so three quarters times so three times three is nine four times one is four so what we're left with now it's 4 9th minus 5 12 plus 9 over 4. We're going to leave that like it is. We don't have to make it a mixed number yet because we still have to work with it. So we need a common denominator for all of these numbers. Okay, we can work with all these numbers, and the common denominator for this would be 36. Okay, 36. So 4 times 9. Is 36 so 4 times 4 16 okay 5 times 12 12 times 3 is 36 okay so that means 5 times 3 is 15 okay plus now 9 times 9 81 and 4 times 9 is 36 so there we have it so we've got common denominators for subtraction and addition alright so we start off 16 minus 15 is 1 we don't have to write that down so 16 minus 15 is 1 1 plus 81 is 82 82 over 
36. Now we got a problem here. That's an improper fraction. So we got to make that a mixed number. So how many times does 36 go into 2? 36 goes into 2. 2 times. All right, and what's left over? 10. So what we have here, all right, we'll have 2 and 10 over 36. Now, I still got a problem with this. That's not its lowest term, so we need to simplify that. So 2 will stay, okay? And then this will become 2 and 5, 36. Now, if you're looking at this at home and saying, wow, that is massive, that is huge, how can I do that? Well, I just did it. So copy it down, slow it down, pause it in between steps, and copy it down. And like I said, once it's done there, then copy this question again and try it. And then go back and refer to this to see if you got it right. So practice, test yourself, essentially. All right, so we'll go through this again in class, and uh, we'll go through some more examples. Uh, but that's all for now. Make sure you copy this down. And again, you can find this in your textbook, so you can follow along with it too. Okay, so that's all for now, and we'll see you in class, all right? Thank you.